Welcome to Planet Yokoshima. Castle's Laboratory, Infinite Imagination, Enjoy. Coloring monochrome celluloids, ethereal art, calligraphy, logos, love letters, books, fashion accessories, things you've never seen before. Explore. Later in this video. Look at the line. So you guys, tell me which one is better. To make the character looks at the visitor on the website or like to look at the belly button. This, I want to show you this artwork. is something that I'm thinking to do for my YouTube banner at some point. So basically it's me driving a rocket and you're all the dreamers being with me. There's a mark here, do you see? It's like a, almost a burn and if, mark. And if you don't like it, and bitch, sit your ass down and eat tea for bed. Look, this is the first time ever in my whole life that I hold the chopsticks with my left hand. Stay loving yourself, love yourself, love, 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 love yourself. You must, you should, you have no choice. You're gonna love yourself whether you like it or not, okay? I'm watching yeah, you. Yeah, this is the Hello. third time happens. The security people just to hang in be around. extra, extra, extra self-composed for this. I have to be extra patient. I have to be even extra strong. Just so you know how much I'm great at self-composure. Like nobody's following me. Like nobody's watching. Sometimes it doesn't work. It's just like a human instinct to feel anxious. It's not cool. And just to show you how much strong I am, I'm gonna make myself even more and more stand well, out. Even if they hate you, it's just like staring at you. Hmm. That's a compliment, okay? That's how I'm gonna see it anyway from now on. By the positive note, I make people happy. Just by being different, you stand out. Make people think, make people curious. Which is good, that's actually positivity. It's not a negative thing to make people curious, okay? Why I'm doing this way, love? I think it's better actually to video. Because then I can just go and screenshot whatever I like. Cute, yeah, like that. And like that. You can tell like I really care about you all and you mean a lot to me that I always reply to you. And the first thing I wake up to is the comments. Let's start the video. Good morning. Today I woke up and I remembered that there used to be a playlist that I used to listen to. It has like the happiest, greatest beats, it's very unique and even if you don't like jazz, it uh, plays such happy tunes that you just actually want to move yourself and dance. It's really, really happy beat. Um, it's a great way to start your day. So the playlist is called Acid Jazz, and I will leave a link down below to my favorite uh, video that um, that I always listen to every morning. And uh, also I used to listen to when I work out. Um, such a great kind of music they play. I don't know if they're a band or what they are actually or where they do they find the music but I think it's copyright so that's why I can't play it here but um, yes yeah, so today is such a happy day I, I made it a happy day it's like waking up and I'm like it's a great day up in the window uh, what do I want to say yeah I'm gonna do some groceries and I'm so excited to paint my creatures and actually yesterday I came up with a great idea that um, I want to change my YouTube banner and I'm gonna make it, uh, I wanna make my own artwork where there's like, I'm driving a spaceship and you dreamers are like on board, so cute. I kind of already come up with the dreamers creature, how it looks like, so you all look the same thing, there will be probably a white blob, it's like a very cute white blob, I'll see it's inspired by a Ghibli movie, what is it called, um, the recent one, uh, the boy and the hero, I think it's called. Um, or in Japanese, the way to live, I think so. I forgot what, like, actually, how to say it in Japanese, but, um, yeah, so today that's what's gonna happen. And also, another project, exciting project in my mind is I want to make a welcome banner for my accessoire fashion brand website. And I want to actually make an artwork where I am, like, doing, like, this, like, an animation, and I'm holding, like, a white brush, and I'm holding the uh, accessoire, uh, accessoire logo, so adorable and cute and there's like the yellow star on it if you don't know what it looks like or what my fashion brand is go check it out check out my website it takes you there it's very adorable i make very unique accessories that literally look something from the future apocalyptic fashion at its finest is what i call it so basically i see myself as a merchant from the future who sells great stuff from his planet but um yeah, so I want to make that. So I love making artworks. It's been a while since I made a digital artwork. There are so many artworks lining up. But uh, I have to finish with my priorities. 
obviously. I was gonna say, I want to model my own picture to, what do you call it, to reference it, for reference. So I'm just gonna come up with the, the pose, and then I'm gonna, like, uh, use it as a reference for the artwork. But I don't know which project going to be, like, I don't know the order of the project, but definitely Mens is out of the way. I want to make it out of the way. So I did, last night I did some paintings, so I've got to edit some more and then put these to Mensi. And then there will be a little bit, 10 more, and then I'm gonna transform them to Mensi. So almost there, and then that will be left of me is to put in the details and information and uh, the introduction about the book and exhibition. And that's will be out of the way, and then we am will be next, but we will see one step at a time. But I love when my life just progresses like this. You see, just you fix your time. You're, uh, you wake up in the morning, and for some reason waking up in the morning makes you actually see that the day is longer and you have so much time. For some reason when it's night time, you kind of miss the, the your sense of time, at least for me. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of when it's always dark, dark, dark. It's kind of different than giving you a sense like waking up in the daytime and then until sunset and then when the sun goes down and you have your night as well to enjoy just like a few hours before going to bed, it's perfect for me. Anyway, that's that. I'm gonna do some groceries because that's what I need to do so I can eat something nice. Um, I miss eating tofu, so I'm probably gonna also buy tofu, tunas, and uh, sambara because I like to have my uh, raisin and bread and butter with oh, also dried dates. <sighs> the sunlight just came out. Anyway, let's go start the day, shall we? Also, hair update. It's time to get thicker. Like, if you remember this, this were like this long, and right now they're getting longer, so I can feel and see the thickness coming back, which is excited about. For those who don't know, my hair had been falling out before because I was homeless and out of stress. A lot of it was falling out. Also, I want to polish my nails, put uh, the dots. Yes, I've got to mail the giveaway right now before doing the groceries. So, without further ado, I'm gonna start the day. So it's getting thicker. Also, it's kind of shinier and it's smoother because I'm using hair oil. I use it after shower, but mostly when it's dry because I realized when I use it after shower, it gets really, the oil gets really uh, sticky to the hair for some reason. But I, when I use it right now, when, I, when you just saw me brushing my hair, that was because I was using this one and I was dispersing it all around. That's what's been happening. Sometimes I'm tempted to bleach my hair because I miss that like a blonde or whitish blonde. But I can't be bothered, man. That was really fucked my hair. It takes so long to for it to go back to black. Yes, back to black. I know if you know the song. Look at the line. I'll probably try later in the day. I think it's really, really crowded because it's been closed for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So everybody need, has something to do and send and stuff. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, this is the third time it happens. The security people just hanging around me, it's so disrespectful. Just minding my own business, like why? And this is the thing, I have two options, to be upset about it or move on. Naturally, like a human instinct, you can't, you can't just be yourself. Like the more this happens, the more you get self-conscious. The more you're gonna act suspicious because you're gonna be fucking anxious. But I have to be extra, extra, extra self-composed for this. I have to be extra patient. I have to be even extra strong. Just so you know how much I'm great at self-composure. This is what I do. I just move on like nobody's following me, like nobody's watching. Sometimes it doesn't work. It's just like a human instinct to feel anxious. It's not cool. It's not fucking cool. Bug the wrong people, let me just say that. Like, amongst everybody else following me, you know what, I think it's actually probably the just think that I'm fucking cool. I'm just gonna think about it this way this time. That's better. They think that I'm fucking cool, so I'm just gonna smile at them and give them the yes, I am fucking cool aura. Anyway, got to race time, nobody gives a fuck. And just to show you how much strong I am, I'm gonna make myself even more and more stand out. Okay? That's how much anger can... That's how much you can actually turn anger into positivity. Just turn this rage into strength. How cute. I just want to burn them, just to see like, yes, 
I am being myself. What you gonna fucking do about it, bitch? I'm being myself and I'm happy and I'm slaying at it. There you fucking go. Maybe this makes you happier. Mm, I really wanna do something else. To make it in the uh, in the mirror. What was gonna say? Uh, yes, maybe actually they're just bored and just I would fascinate them. This is the thing, if people actually, even if they hate you, it's just like staring at you, hmm, that's a compliment, okay? That's how I'm gonna see it anyway from now on. Yeah, anyway, by the way, I just, in the positive side, in the positive note, I make people happy. Just by being different, you stand out, make people think, make people curious, which is good. That's actually positivity. It's not a negative thing to make people curious, okay? So yes, learn something from this video. If somebody makes you feel uncomfortable, it's not your problem, it's theirs. So turn this uncomfortability into hmm, haughtiness, into pride, okay? Let's go. That's good actually, I needed this. The universe wanted me to get back to being myself, which is great. Literally the energy I needed. Confidence. Oh, talking about confidence, my confidence has been so much better that I. this is the first time ever I take a phone call outside. Like, I didn't even think about it. I saw that somebody calling and I was like, I didn't think about it, I just did it. And nothing killed me. At all. And the phone call was a scam. The robot boy talking to me. Okay, okay, ladies and gentlemen, and what's in between? I have finished the 10 paintings here. 10 left, I'll do it tomorrow. So yes, 10, uh, just to make this uh, boring ordeal more fun. I started to king by making a heart. So I'm taking making hearts. And uh, these are all tickets because it's been a while since I was working on Mency. I had to take a break, otherwise I would die from boredom. And uh, I do so much better when I take breaks between projects. So, right now these paintings are gonna go to my Mency book. I'm gonna assort them in the document, which would be here. And tomorrow I'll finish with these. Yes. Then I just need to make the info and details and add an introduction and go from there bro why is it so complicated to print some documents i've got some papers that i've got to sign for i'm gonna see my gp also for the blood test and for him to sign the paper so i can change my name uh, la, 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 la. so i've sent some documents to print and tomorrow i'm going to collect them and then uh yes i have to go tomorrow also send the parcel to the person and uh, take a photo id because i need a photo id a new one and uh man all of that is just so much spending i hate it it's been like so long since i had the money in my bank and as soon as i have money in my bank it's not even enough it's hardly enough for me and as soon as i have that all gone for stupid things like just important things like fucking papers and id and shit I don't, uh, honestly, I don't think I have even enough to <sighs> mail the person. I think it's there. I don't think I'll be mailing it to you right now. I'm so sorry. I just, I have, don't, I don't have money. Like, I literally don't have anything. I don't have savings. I don't have anything. The only savings I have is 300, which is going to go for the rent on the 9th of April. And I'm still short for the rent. Anyway, I'll be 1,200 short. But I will be able to sort most of it uh, next week so I'm probably I'll have to send you next week minimum I'll see I'll keep you updated but uh, I can't I hate myself for it but I can't besides it's been really busy like you saw the line it's really really long because the post office had been closed for three days for Easter so people are just lining up to finish so much work and I don't have time for that so I want to finish the what's important and I will eventually send it to you. I'm so sad because also you told me you're going to send me something back. Um, eventually I'm going to send it to you. Trust me, like as soon as I get enough money, even like somebody buys something, excuse me, if my um, art crafts also like start selling them. Also, actually the elevator is fixed, but I have to wait for the rent to stop because it's been raining since yesterday. So I'll see how it goes. But um Yes, if anything changes, I'll definitely keep you updated and I'll be able to mail it to you. But for now, I'm so sorry. I hate myself for it, as I said, but I have to prioritize where I need to prioritize. And uh, I want to finish from the things that I have to. Besides, if I saw my GP for a blood test, I'm just hoping, fingers crossed, that I don't need to pay to see him. Usually, I only 
go see the nurse for my injection every 12 weeks, which I don't have to pay. It's just like come in, get the injection and go. But if I some, see my GP, I think that I have to pay from my own pocket. So I'll see how that fucking goes. Uh, which means that I will be also left little for the land rent. But uh, with my channel getting discovered slowly and with being able to bus hopefully soon, things should look up very, very soon. So anyways, I'm sure things will be great. And uh, just for now, every time I get a saving, savings gone for things, which is okay. I'm not complaining. I'm very grateful. Every time, even like I was looking at my phone and I remember when I was homeless, dreaming to have a phone like everybody else that was like takes quality pictures and all. So I was looking at it and I remember when I bought it, just like choosing the color was starlight and I was so happy and I'm just thinking how grateful I am. I'm so grateful for just like having this phone just make even quality videos to be honest. I'm so lucky that I've survived on misses and everything. I have no, nothing like I can't complain at all. That's why I'm happy because I've gone through all of the bad parts and I'm excited, especially for Bookman C also going to finish very soon and stuff like that. But uh, yes, I just want to keep you updated. I don't think I'll be mailing it today. Num, 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 but uh, I'll be mailing it to you soon, as soon as I can, as I said. So I'll keep that. This is like already in my hand, like it's, if you see my schedule, mailing you is already there. So what I do is like the things that I don't finish with, I just push them. So tomorrow, if I, if I today, if I can't mail it to you, I'll push it tomorrow. If I can't, I'll push, push, push. Which means that as soon as I can, I'll be mailing it, mailing it to you. But I was already like, I went to the post office and I found like the right envelope and everything. But then the line just kept like stretching and stretching. And I was like, yeah, hell nah, I can't. Like there's so many people. And uh, yes, yeah, so I didn't have time for that. So I had to go to do groceries and then I had to go around looking for sandpaper to smoothen the clay stuff. But I couldn't find that. I have to find it from another store. So a lot on my plate, but uh, yes, a lot on my plate, which is good. Staying busy is good. Anyway, so for now, I've got so many projects I can finish with. I can either paint the clays. Otherwise, I really, 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 really want to change the banner for my accessoire fashion website because I want people to, when I go busking, I want them to go and see like the, the business mission, if that makes sense. So when people go there, I really want to make the artwork of me uh, as I said, like holding the paintbrush and like the holding the little uh, accessoire logo, which would be very cute. Also, in my mind, is to actually make the accessoire logo as in like in a ball and make like a charm out of it. How cute that would be! Which reminds me, I have to be able to afford for like the charm hoop things, like the keychain thing. A lot on my plate, but one step at a time. But as you see, people are bullshitting when they see money doesn't make you ha bring you happiness. Like fuck you. Shut the fuck up, you have never been poor, you don't know how it feels like that you need money to like create things, to live your life, to live, to be you, and be happy. Anyways, what I was gonna say, uh, la, 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 la. yes, I'm gonna probably do the artwork project just for a change, and uh, yes, I'll take it from there. So this is the idea, it's just gonna be like me on the table. I'm not a dwarf, y'all, I was just walking on my knees, I promise. It's quite tall, but I'll see. So red, this will be the idea, red and white. Then we have got, yes, the brush thing. I'm gonna hold the brush. Let's make it a little more chaotic, that'd be cute. And that would be, this is going to be a ball, like a, uh, yes, actually the other way around. Yeah, because I'm right-handed. So that'd be something like that, owie. So many stuff happening. Mm. This. <laughs> I'm gonna take a screenshot. I don't know why I'm doing this way, but I think it's better actually to video because then I can just go and screenshot whatever I like. Want to make the hands quite cute, yeah, like that, and like that. <laughs> uh, 
I've put a poll on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, what you doing with your time? Uh, yes, I put a poll on Instagram. So you guys tell me which one is better to make the character looks at the visitor on the website or like to look at the logo at the work. So I'll see what you all think. But I'll start making the artwork anyway. If you don't like it, and bitch, sit your ass down and eat. I put everything that I have in the fridge uh, left over from rice with corn and the pepperoni for protein. And I've got the uh, same broccolini with the green beans and salad. <clears throat> Actually, there was like too much of them, but I finished it, which is like, honestly, I didn't know that I would be finishing this because um, I wasn't feeling hungry, especially when I was eating the pepperoni with cheese in it, I was feeling sick. But this is like actually a life hack that when you feel sick, eat some salad as well because it's light and it covers the oil. So basically it absorbs the oil as you eat. So yeah, just sit down and feed yourself. And when you feel um, uh, nauseated, eat such like light stuff like rice, anything that absorbs the acid so you don't feel sick. But yeah, I'm quite proud that I actually ate a lot. It doesn't look like it, but actually whole thing was full so go me i'm so glad that i forced myself a mental trick i do is i tell myself as i eat protein 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 for example if i'm eating the rice i'm thinking fiber fiber for my muscles to grow fiber <laughs> it really helps and just like me to remember just telling myself healthy body healthy mind you'll feel better afterwards eat eat and uh, i always do one thing i am upset about is I forgot to buy a lemon for my hot lemon tea for bed. Look, this is the first time ever in my whole life that I hold the chopsticks with my left hand. Look. What? Yes, I'm born gifted. I can even hold the corn, look. It's a singlet of rice. Mm -hmm. Yay, more sub. For some reason, I'm not the only person. YouTube is showing me that the money is going down. Like the revenue, <sighs> although I'm happy like people are watching, it goes up. Like yesterday was 12 and today it suddenly went down to 10. Even though like their viewers are getting more and the subs are getting more. And apparently I'm not the only person who has, who's going through this. <sighs> Like we work so hard as YouTubers, like content creators, and we're not getting our fair share. What is going on YouTube? Anyways, I just finished uh, uploading my paintings into both Instagrams. <clears throat> and right now I'm gonna post them to YouTube as well. And then what's left would be putting them in the book. Yeah, because I forgot that I wanted to also put them on Instagram and YouTube. So that's that. But yeah. Last things last would be putting them in the book, but I'm gonna have a shower and probably just chill with a like exercise or something before a shower and just chill for the day. Just so you guys know how long it takes and how painful it is just like to just work on the videos on my phone. Look at this. Do you see this? This is because I'm just like holding the phone and working on it for so long, like editing the videos and then uh, Editing the pictures and then the videos, putting them together into a video. Come on. There's a mark here. Do you see? It's like a, almost a burn mark. <laughs> I should be careful. Yeah, so now you can see that's how painful it is to work on my phone. Like, it's just really distressing. So I'm gonna chill. Okay, lovely people. It's time for me to say goodnight. It's about... It's 10.56 p.m., so about 11 soon, and I want to double fix my sleep because today I woke up at 12 p.m. and I want to wake up earlier because it also gets me to finish so many things to do, like with daytime, like calling places, you know, they're open at daytime and finishing some ID stuff, taking picture and all that. Um, I just want to, like when I was in the shower, I was like genuinely thinking about how grateful I am for everybody who have been hanging out um, on my channel and like always interacting commenting and you can tell like i really care about you all and you mean a lot to me that i always reply to you and the first thing i wake up to is the comments um it really helps me like uh, just reminds me wakes me up as something um 
as I said, I started this series because I needed something to keep me going, keep me moving. Also, I shaved my arms, I shaved everything, and today I feel like as nice and fresh as a baby. I feel so fucking sexy. Um, yeah, but uh, I've been telling myself, I, I talked to somebody here as well, we were talking about this feeling down, how we always have to remember this uh, strong bitch energy, like this strong bitch energy always gets me back on my feet and basically literally makes me uh, fix my posture. I don't know if you also like me, like when you distress, you just kind of no energy, you have no energy. And then when I remember that I am like worth so much and I remember how much I, I've been put down, I just be like, fuck it, fuck it. I know what my pride is, I know my value. Actually, even when I was homeless, just by my fixture, I was always like, uh, like this, like haughty as if I was not homeless. I don't know if I told you, but people used to actually pour me like free wine and bars. They didn't know I was homeless. It's just the aura I gave off. I was like very not homeless person, which as I said, also made me not to be able to get free food at some, some points. Anyway, that's for a, another video actually that I forgot to post. It's a long video because it's talking about my chapter throughout homelessness, how I went out and in and out of it and how I lived and have survived and everything. That's why it's very, very long. So I just remember that I have to fix it up. It's done, but I just forgot to put on some um, most important parts to fill in the gaps. And uh, I wanted to also add some of the posts that I posted back when I was homeless to add it to that video. But anyway, I don't make to make these videos uh, longer than they should. And yes, <sighs> today I have finished Mansi 10 paintings altogether. Uh, you saw, like, it took me the whole day to put it in and out of, like, huh? Instagram, send it to laptop, and then uh, to YouTube, and I can see see gloves out on the pole, which I like to think of as a reminder of the universe that prosperity is coming, just to keep fighting. I like watching seagulls, just like sitting around them and hanging out with them. They always remind me like just to be, just fucking fight for survival, basically, and uh, to prove myself to the world. So yes, seagulls, let us be, and I'll show you, I don't know, I forgot to tell you, but this, I want to show you this artwork, is something that I'm thinking to do for my YouTube banner at some point. So basically it's me driving a rocket and you're all the dreamers with me. I think I've already have the, uh, the dreamers uh, creature in my mind and eventually I want to make also clay of these dreamers. I can make them have expressions and faces and everything so I can sell them as well. But yeah, thanks for watching. Until this point, dreamers, keep dreaming, stay cool, stay safe, stay loving yourself, love yourself, love, 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 love yourself, you must, you should, you have no choice, you're gonna love yourself whether you like it or not, okay? I'm watching you, I don't have the, <laughs> I don't have the eyes yet, I should polish them, I promise tomorrow I'm going to put the eyes for you and then I'll be like, I'm watching you, anyway, so yes, uh, I'm gonna say Thank you for hanging out with me in my planet. Uh, come please visit me on my planet tomorrow. Otherwise, my planet will be lonely without people, without you in it. So yes, let's go whoosh away. And then please do come back. I'll be waiting for you. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. To a better future. Let's shoot to the stars. Goodbye for now. I love you. Sub, like, share, and hit the bell notification. Let us spread fun, love, creativity, and inspiration. Thank <laughs> you.